and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble! Y'all ready for this? Strikers, Swift right back at you with another gameplay. And today we are playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on the Switch, and we going to get it popping. And all these stocks about to get to a dropping because today we got a nice little rivalry going on here. We got my boy Jamasu over here, and we got my boy J Rock on the phone. We're going to settle today exactly who's the better Smasher. And for y'all that don't know. I'm talking about Smash Smash. Get your head out the gutter. I'm talking about a game. Let's get it popping. And with that, we're going to start it. We're going to jump right into it. Let's get it. We about to get this grudge match on the way. And we about to get it started. Start off the fight. Let's go. Round one. Now the rules are simple. Three stocks, seven minutes. And basically, we're going to do a best of five of two sets. Basically, whoever wins two sets, best of five. They're the kings. So let's get it started. I'm going to be over here. Swift over here. I'm going to be a commentator. So let's jump right in. So we got J-Rock over here as... Ooh, is that right? Okay. We got J-Rock over here rocking the Joker with the blue. Ha! <laughs> Joker blue. And we got uh, Jamasu over here rocking the Golden Falcon. Ooh. Hits him with an up B. Ooh, a second up B. His big brother Arsene is out. Ooh, he's pinned on the pressure. He's charging up up smash. Nah, but he missed. J-Rock is just too smart for that. Hit him with a forward too. Ooh, tries to side B, but it doesn't work. Okay, okay, J-Rock coming back. Wait. Ooh, he was about to eat a forward smash. Ooh, another side B. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he tried to go for the Falcon Punch, but it was misplaced. It was not in the right spot. He was trying to finish it right there. Oh, could this be it? Oh, DI saves lives. Okay, can Joker make this comeback so far? Oh, he just throwing out forest smashes. That don't always work, but sometimes it does. Oh, is that an attempt to a ledge trunk? For y'all that don't know, a little smash terminology, a ledge trump is when one person is on the ledge and someone else jumps on the ledge and basically they knock them off the ledge. If that made sense, it's a first come first serve. So if somebody's on a ledge and you jump on a ledge, you're going to knock them off the ledge. And then you get to hit them and do what you want. But we're back at it. So uh, first stock was taken. James over here took the first stock. Tried to number four a smash, but it was not placed in the right spot. But he's still keeping him on it. Ooh, J-Rock just ate a hard forward smash. Ooh, and he made it back by the nick of his life. Ooh, he's about to eat another forward smash. I don't know what Jordan done. Maybe this is just a warm-up. Jordan ain't played this game in a minute. Ooh, he ate a strong up smash. There we go. That's what we talking about. That's what we need. This game is still winnable. Jordan can bring this all the way back. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Falcon punch out of nowhere. I don't know why, but sometimes it works. It didn't work in this case. It, it, and now, if he turned that Falcon punch around, that definitely would have been a would have been a stock. 
okay, okay. I'm not seeing many grabs from these people, but I'm also not seeing any shields either. <laughs> I won't know. I'm good. Ooh. That was close. It was almost a stop. Charging up smash. He gonna fall into it again? No, he was smarter this time. Running with the dash attack, but DI saved the lives. Ooh! Up B nice. from Captain Falcon. That was great. Finished off this stock. It's one stock left. Can J Rock Nero bring this back? Ooh. Poor throw. After the grab. He follows up, but he doesn't do anything. They both charge a smash attack, but neither one of them hit. Our sin is out. Falcon punch at nothing. Oh, he's applying pressure on the platform. Rapid jab. 77% on his last stop. Ooh! Oh my god! And that's the first game. It was a misplaced forward smash. Smoke over there. Smoke <laughs> okay, so Javasu took the first game. Uh, let's see if J-Rock can bring it back in the next game. Easy peasy. So what you gotta say about that first game, J-Rock? Anything? <laughs> oh, the silence. Silence, okay. Oh, it's a character change. Okay, let's see, let's see. We got a character change. Oh, all right, he switched that. He pulled out the Lucario, okay. Pulled out the Lucario. Max Aura, here we go. All right, all right, here we go. And uh, he pulled out his main, he pulled out the Mario. Let's get game two on the way. Let's see who's gonna win this one. So far, the score is zero to one. In James' favor. Oh. Here we go. We start off. Oh, he tries to counter, but he counters nothing. Uh oh. All right. Recovery is looking. Oh, my goodness. He walked into a forward smash. Up B off stage. That's kind of weird. That could have cost him his stop. Oh, dash attack. Up smash. Oh, he went right into it. What's wrong? J-Rock look like you sandbagging, bro. You ain't do no damage yet. Or is that your strat? For y'all though that don't know, Smash Tip. Lucario, as you see, the more damage he takes, the more uh, aura he gets. See his hands, how they're glowing? Oh my god, that was... Ooh. Well, that, that kind of just canceled out everything I was just saying. But, the more damage he takes, the more rage he gets, and the more his aura becomes. Basically, the more powerful his attacks become. So, like, you see that little force palm that he done, and that big charge ball? Basically, with enough rage and aura, that jump would turn into like the spirit bomb size attack. Basically, he's only at 28%. When he's at like 150, Lucario will shoot out like a whole spirit bomb across the stage. It's crazy. But it, it's a risk reward. High risk, high reward. Because you do more damage, but it also requires you to take a load of damage. But we're going to get back to the fight. So far, oh, that was a nice place counter. That counter was clean. Looking like Goku with Ultra Instinct out here. Uh, we had some technical difficulties. Uh, not sure what just happened, but. You just killed him off the stage. Uh, you gotta give him a homie stop, bro. Yo, J Rock, you back, yo? J Rock. J Rock, J Rock, J Rock, J Rock. Uh. Oh, yeah, alright, you back? Yeah, we back. We, we resumed the recording. There were some technical difficulties. We had to, uh, you know, split that. But now it's down to last stop because uh, he took your stock without you being at the game. So he gave you a homie stop. So we, we resume with uh, one stop, one stop. This is anybody's game. Okay, he's keeping him on the edge. Look like he reading G Rock like a book. We're about to check him out of the library. Ooh, nice counter. It looked like he read him like the book. He said, nah, fam, return the book. Ooh, nice recovery. Do not walk into that. Ooh, I'm sorry, I can't be getting tips. Ooh, heavy up smash. One more, and that's 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 game. 
fool. But like I said, Lucario, he got that rage. And that aura, that aura could win this game because Mario's at kill percent. Ooh, if he would have ate that, that would have been death. Okay, okay. Down there, down there. Nice, nice uh, spacing. Just throwing out up smashes, hoping that his phone runs. Oh my goodness! It's a replay of the last of the first game, except it's Mario Switch. See, like last time, it was a misspace forward smash by Joker, and he did his forward smash first, and Falcon came and you know forward smashed him back. And this time, it was the opposite. Mario did his forward smash, and Lucario charged his and waited. And Mario let go of his first, which made him move slightly closer. And Lucario said, I got you, fam. Ultra Instinct. I read you like a book. Check oh, out. Bro. And then, boom, forward smash. And that's game two. How you feel about that, J-Rock? Bringing it back like that. I mean, it was uh, not the exciting to win the match. So. But you did win the match. You ain't win the set I mean, yet. I, I, mean, I, I mean, the whole tournament is not that exciting. Bro, you got to be excited about every game, bro. What's up with you? Come on. Get that excitement at. Where all that confidence from earlier? Oh, oh, cut me. It's still in. Are you still confident that, that you better than him? That you can win? Of course. Of course. You going down. So we're about to jump into game three. Come on, what y'all doing? Jump into game three. Come on. Come on. Come on. What you doing? You in game three. Going down. About to hop into game three. You doing all right? Game three start. Ooh, ooh, we got another switch up. We got uh, jump. Ooh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> we got James over here switching back to Captain Falcon, the Golden Falcon, like he won in the first game. And we got Nero switching over here to Pit. Let's see how this game turn out. This game three. Okay. Ran random smash attacks. I'm not sure what what, what they both were thinking here. But Pit did a down smash, I mean, did a forward smash, and uh, Falcon did a forward, up smash, I mean, down smash. Okay, okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. They're like, they're barely oh. hitting each other. <laughs> okay, there awesome. we go, there we go, there we go. We're returning, we're returning. Okay, up smash, oh, there we go, up smash, there we go. That's what I was about to say, that would've been better. Ooh, throwing out smash attacks, and you're all connecting. Oh, that, except that one, that one did not connect. Ooh, another forest smash. Remember, don't do it too much, your stealth moves. Smash tip. In Smash Ultimate, the, every time you do a move more and more, the more you spam it, the less effective it becomes. And Falcon eats a forward smash, another misspaced forward smash. He did his first and, you know, whatever forward smash comes out second, that's the one that usually wins because, you know, unless you're close enough. Now, if they're both close enough, whoever does it first wins in that case. Ooh, this first forward smash. See it in that case. Okay, I think this is a battle of forward smashes because, I mean, it, it, Rock is throwing it out and it's just working. Hey, Falcon's just running into him. Oh, we got a little lag on the system. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, down tilt. Is he going to edge guard? Oh, he tried to, but he didn't do it properly. High recovery by J Rock. Oh, and then down there. Oh, he tried to go for the upbeat kill, but it did not work. Oh, down tilt. I think he can make that back. He made it back. Is he going to punish him? Oh. Soft punch. That was a soft punch. It was not a great punch. Ooh, and he punished him with that forward smash. Charging it up again. Ooh. But he lands on the platform above him and saves him. Ooh, but he lands right in front of him again as he charged another forward smash. Ooh, but then he runs in with his invulnerability and uses his dash attack to finish off the stock. Now the stock is 1 2. Can Falcon bring this back? No. You gotta have confidence, man. You can probably bring this back. Big Let's get it. Always gotta have confidence. Look, you see, you hear J Rock, he got his confidence back. I still have it. He, he didn't sound too confident earlier. He was like, oh, it is what it is. Now he's like, yeah, you gotta have your confidence. See that change up? Change up real quick. <laughs> oh. Forest Smash is just like going in and they're just working. Ooh, down smash this time. He decided to switch it up. Forward smash again. This time it was missed. Ooh, this time it was shielded. Ooh, roll behind. Forward two. Ooh! Down uh, special. 
Oh, 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 smash me. Oh, it didn't finish. It did not finish. It didn't finish. Oh, up smash under the platform. I was getting close. It's getting close. They're both at kill percent. Both at kill percent, except J Rock has two stocks. And is that game? And that's the game. That's game three. Game three in the favor of J Rock. Right now, the score right now is one to two. I want to run into him. Ran into him. He, he, he was running into all the smash attacks. That's one, two. Did we could, are we gonna go to what you doing? Press the button. Stop playing the controller, man. Play the game, bruh. What you doing? Oh, J Rock, he's switching again. He said, I ain't gonna give you too much. He said, because if you check out my book for too long, you will just learn the whole story. Oh, he's switching it up. <laughs> he keeping it. He keeping it different. He said, you gonna check out a new book each time so that you read so many books you don't remember which one was which. Boom. That's that's a plan. That's a strat, I guess. You only won two games. I mean, he only needs one more to take the set. The first one to win two sets. You got you got to bring it back two games. Oh, he picked out the the banjo and kazooie, and he got the Gratilda. Uh, I think that's her name, Gratilda or something like that. The little witch from Banjo and Kazooie. It's a DLC character. Let's see how J Rock going against him. Forward smash, first thing that comes out, and it just works. Looks like James has a problem running into forward smash. Maybe you should slow down his gameplay, maybe. But no advice. That'd be cheap. Ooh, that was almost placed correctly. But he rolled right behind him. Ooh, up smash, up smash, and he walked in, he landed into it. He almost walked into that forward smash. Down to it. Ooh, the invincible, uh. I forgot what that thing called. But that's Banjo's invincible side beat. It beats out every single attack, it's invincible. But he only gets five of them per stock. Those little feathers above his head, once they're all gone, he can't use the side beat anymore until he loses the stock. Ooh, he just shot an egg bomb at him. Ooh, and okay. good up smash. Okay. He landed my, my into it again. Push. Landed into it. Ooh, he comes back using invincibility for a forward smash. Ooh, up B again. And his face and it worked. Ooh, he recovers. He recovers. Oh, he doesn't punish his recovery. He just lets him get back up for free. Dash attack. Tries to go for up B to finish off the stop. Didn't work. Ooh, another forward smash. He just walks into it. Ooh, he stopped his invincible side B. Now, although the side B is invincible, if you stop it before it starts up, it's, you know, you can knock him out of it. But once it starts, he, he, he's invincible. You can't do anything about it. Just got shielded and run away. Try to space it out, you know. Ooh. He's trying. He, ooh, down smash. Ooh, and another forward smash. He just stood there and ate it. So he gonna land into that. Oh, he almost went into that one. Oh, he just throwing out forward smash. That last one looked like that shit had hit. Back. It was super close. Up. Oh. Mm. Up forward two. Can he finish off the stop? He keeps trying to go for the up B finish. Oh, forward smash. Oh, he's not dead. He's coming back. Up. Oh, and that's all. Oh, that was well. That was well placed by J Rock. Oh, he come back with a down too. Just like he said, get out of here. Let me trip you up real quick. Oh, finish a little bit up smash. Oh, three up smashes in a row. Okay. Guess that's a new strat. Making a whole punch. Alright, hold on. The game is coming. It looks like it might be coming to an end. Unless Falcon can bring it back. If I can bring it back with a 65% deficit and one stop. Okay, now it's just a one stop deficit. Ooh, he caught him with that up B. Except it's not that effective. Ooh, there's the invincible side B I was talking about. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. That was well played. Hey, I man. Ooh, that was well. Ooh, he's not dead. DI saves a lot. Ooh, he almost finished him. And it almost cost him the stock. This, this is this is coming this is coming close it's coming close although he's going oh wait oh he's not dead he's still alive can he bring it back can he bring this back one more good smash attack and falcon is dead and there there we go that's game three with a down smash finish it with a down smash that's, that's game three he won the set he won set one
Yeah. Yeah. Wait, we get five sets, right? No, you get two sets. Oh. Probably three sets. It's the first to win two sets. And J Rock takes the first set. So we, we still got one win. Nutty. Yeah, but now the, you know, this count goes back to zero. J Rock got one under his belt. And if he wins three more games, then you know. Well, I still got one on my belt. Nope, you got zero on your belt. Sets reset. And the game is reset. So we're now we're on to set two. And <laughs> let's jump into game one of set two. Ooh, we got a switch. Hold up, wait a minute. We have J Rock Leo over here as the I fight for cancer Falcon. <laughs> and we have James over here as uh who's that again? I'm just coming. We got Dark Samus over here. I've never seen him use this character, so this is kind of new to me. So I'm not really sure what to expect from this game. But I do know J Rock Heroes is uh his Falcons. It's okay. It's okay. I ain't been popping in a minute. Ooh, up, up me. Ooh, and he got the early stop. Only 26 seconds. 26 seconds to take that first stop. That was a nice up B at top. Oh, down, oh, down there to down two. Okay. Up B, random. Okay. Oh, straight up. Oh, if he wouldn't have landed into that Falcon Punch, that just might have been a stop. Oh, he fell into that up smash. He did three up smashes in a row, and the third one hit. I don't know. It's just something about the number three with up smash. Oh. Waited for him, fired the plasma right at his face. Up me at the whoop, he didn't finish. He wasn't high enough. Oh, man. Oh, he tried to, oh, he tried to go for the grab and he whiffs the grab and Falcon comes down and just gives him the wrist to the face. He said, Take my back here. Oh, he throws out a random Falcon. It had no effect. Oh, looks like he's just running away. Oh, right in the face. It was all up in here with him. I thought he died twice. Oh, yeah, no. I... And what happened? that's I the first game. It lagged. It lagged on me. He has a D. He, he, he double jumped him down here. Nothing. He, got, he killed himself. But, you know, we take those. So, that's game one. I guess I'm not doing probably that though. Right that, that, that's game one in uh -oh. James favor. How you feeling about that game, James? You think you, think you got a chance with, with uh with this Samus? With this Dark Samus, you think you can bring it back? Alright, he said something a little cringy like that, but he said he can bring it back. He said he can bring it back. How you feeling, J Rock? You gonna switch characters again? You know, you know, you know y'all keep the same model, man. Oh, all right, I guess y'all both switching characters. All right, here we go. We have game two. Here's game two of set two. Oh, we got J-Rock Nero pulling out the corn. I've heard that this character, corn, is pretty corny. But anyway, uh, yeah. We got the corn, and he still has the golden dark Samus. Oh, he starts off with a foot speed. And then lean enough. Oh, a trip. Oh, into a forward smash. Charging plasma ball. Charging forward smash. Still trying. Okay. Shot at nothing. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that was almost another early stop. Oh, oh, he fell out of it. Great DI on Jordan's move. But had he not DI'd that, he definitely would have not gotten out of that attack. Smash Fat. I mean, I'm sorry, Smash Tip. DI is directional influence. When you're hit by an attack or you're being launched, you can actually use the control stick and move it around a bit. You can move the control stick around a bit in order to uh, influence the direction that you're going. So if you get launched that way, that way over here, you can hold okay, the control okay. stick yeah, this way, move it that way so that while you're being launched this way, you slightly get ever, it's like, imagine like a, a opposite force, 
you know, Newton's law. Science. Yeah, I'm done explaining that. Yeah, that's too much scientific. <laughs> Basically, hold the opposite direction okay, okay. you're going. And he finishes off that stock with a forward smash. I'm sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. Where'd the first stop go? I, I killed him with the arm. Um, oh, you shot him with the feet on the ball. Right in his face. Right in his face. Again. Well, you heard How that? You heard that? He said, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just tired of his kicks and it hit Ooh, me. And I'm not. He just like, walking into them forward tilts. He keep charging forward smash. I don't know why. Okay, up smash, under leg, I mean under platform. Okay, he's shield shuffling. Ooh, rolled, rolled under that. Ooh, he tried to finish off the stop. No punish from j -Rock. Nah, we good with this. Ooh, dash attack, not gonna do it. But, up here, still didn't finish it. Ooh, he tried to forward air. Still didn't finish it. Oh, if you would have shot him right in his face, that wasn't a fully charged one. Fully charged one definitely would have did it. I wonder if J Rock realizes he has a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I do. I just going a lot. But as you just heard from him, he said, I don't care if he has a cat, he's not going to give him a chance to use it. Okay. As he finishes off that stock with a, what was that, forward smash, I think? The target, so. oh, oh. There's the counter. He threw it out his first time using it. Just a little friendly advice to spice up. I see what you're doing. I'm a potato. Oh, up B to no one. Okay, side B. Okay. Ooh, okay. and he hits the tip of the tip of the blade. For you that don't know, some lore of this character this character is from fire emblem i don't know which one i don't remember which one but this is a fire emblem character i'm talking about corin and corin is both male and female that's what the term is Ooh. but both male and female and you can select when you play the game you get to select whether or not you want your main character to be female or a male so in this game they gave corin two different sets both for a male set and a female okay, set. And Corrin is also part dragon. So, yeah, that's why the little pieces that's coming out of him, it's uh, the dragon pieces. This might finish it. Ooh. Ooh. Magnet hands. Grab the leg. Smash tip. Magnet hands. When you're close to the ledge, even if you're not going to grab it, if you're close enough, there's like a little magnet that basically your character just snaps to the ledge. It's called a ledge snap as well. But, yeah. It only works for- Whoa! Yes! And he yes! came down yes! with the floaty yes! back air to finish yes! it off in game two. And James takes game two of set two. One more game. Is this going to be a 3-0? Yes! Or is J-Rock going to bring him back and get a W? Never. Never, kid. Oh, he talking big words. He said, you're not beating me, kid. Nope, 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 nope. You keep the same character? Or you wanna get trash? Oh, he got a character switch. Oh, he talking trash. He said, you better switch. Oh, yeah, that's okay. And we are jumping into game three of set two. Let's get it. Right now, it is set as James over here has two games on J-Rock. And J-Rock pulls out the banjo. Oh, he starts off with two taunts into a grab. And he re and James returns the favor by getting thrown a taunt, but he got punished for it. Two forward smashes, then a grab. That's the ledge you get up attack. Unto up smash. Ooh, he tried to catch his ledge land, his platform land with another up smash. But it just barely missed. Ooh, shot him. Shoots a phase on my leg is freeze. Ooh, there's that invincible side move. Wonder Wing. Forward smash. Ooh, it didn't finish off the stock, but he has no jump. And that's the first stock. Ooh. Ooh, he tried to do Wonder Wing, but it didn't come out fast enough. Ooh, oh, is this going to finish it? 
Ooh! Looks like he needs to practice that recovery. He gimped him off stage. He shot him. That was a good edge guard. Ooh, he tries to shoot the ball in his face, but eh, he just didn't hit. Okay, we got a little neutral here. You neither. Or, uh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Put it back. Put it back. Side so B to stop this forward smash. Up smash. He has a habit of running into those. Up smash on shield. No punish. Tries to forward smash, but he runs behind him and forward tilts. Ooh, this lag is crazy. Smash tick. When you're playing in Smash Ultimate, when you roll, every time you roll or spot dodge, it becomes more and more laggy. Which means, and he finished off the stock with a great up B at the top. Locked him into the blast zone. But as I was saying, in this game, they wanted to make it a little more competitive so you can't just keep rolling around and dodging attacks. Forward Smash run finish it? No. But he has no jump, and he's not close enough to the ledge to make it back. Uh, this is anyone's game. Okay, let's wrap this up quickly. Uh, every time I keep trying to speak, it keeps us. Uh, I got a three comments in the game. Ooh, two on the wings straight back to back, but neither one of them hit. And that shield is looking kind of small. One a few good hits on that shield, and that's a shield break. Is that a Oh, okay. oh, he just taunted. Is this a taunt to get bodied? What is it? Is this a taunt to get bodied? Oh, maybe not. Nope, because he turned it around. Oh, he's shooting. He's fired. Oh, perfect shield. A parry. Smashed it. When you let go of shield at the perfect moment, at the moment your shield is about to be attacked, it becomes a parry. And it gives you a f slight few moments to move in and to attack your opponent before they're able to recover from their move. Because every move in this game has a little lag. And the lag is how much you can, how long is the move takes to finish before you can move in. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, and that was a smart option. He saw the forward smash and he said, my phase on ball is charged. Let me just fire. Boom, shot him right in his face. And if he didn't die, he would have still recovered though because he was high enough and I think he still had a jump. So that's set, that's game three of set two with a 3-0. And now we're moving on to set three, the final set. Right now is one set to one set. Each of them in the first set, it was J-Rock Nero's win <laughs> with a 2-1 lead. I mean, with a 3-2 game. No, it didn't go to game five, did it? No, it didn't go to game five. I believe it went to game four. It was a 3-1. Yeah, it was a 3-1 in Nero's favor. And in this game, it was a 3-0 in James' favor, so he kind of answered back. He said, yeah, I won one game last time in the first set, but this set, you're not winning neither <laughs> one of them. And that's exactly what happened, and he proved it. So now we're moving on to set three, the final set, the final three out of five game win. Well, you can't stop me. Ready for this?